Hey guys, so today we have a good old fashioned empties video. I always love filming these because I truly think that empties reviews are the best reviews because obviously these are products that I used up all the way to the end. So by that point, I have a pretty good idea of how I feel about them. So this time around, I only have one makeup empty and then quite a few skincare and hair care empties and then also a couple of Blue Land empties. I've been testing out the Blue Land cleaning products and I've been just giving you guys kind of my updated thoughts on those as I use them up. So we'll get an update on that today and yeah let's go ahead and get into it. So let's go ahead and start with a makeup empty. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade that I have in the shade Taupe Trap. I really enjoyed this brow pen and this is kind of the thing that introduced me to brow pens and now brow pens are my favorite way to fill in my brows. And this one actually has a retractable pencil on one end and like a brush tip pen on the other. And funnily enough, both of them actually ran out like right around the same time, which I feel like hardly ever happens. So that was very satisfying. I really enjoyed this, but I don't think I would repurchase this exact one again because I don't really feel like I need to have the brow pencil portion. I did use the pencil of this in the tail ends of my brows, and then I would use the marker in the front end. I really like doing my brows that way, but I also like, for example, today I used the ABH Dip Brow Pomade in the tail ends of my brows, and then I used my NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen in the front, and I like that just as much. So I think I could do without the waterproof pencil just because I already have that Dip Brow Pomade in my collection. Also, the pencil side of this was a little bit too warm for my brows, even though the pen was like the perfect shade. I felt like they were just a little bit different, and the pencil was just like a little bit off shade-wise for me. So I don't think I'll end up repurchasing this exact one, but I'm very glad that I did try it because now I love brow pens. And to replace it, I ended up getting the NYX Lift and Snatch, which I'm loving. I think it makes a great alternative. And actually, I'm looking up close. I think these two are really similar. Like the brush tips of both of these pens are just about the same. I think they're actually about the same size and shape and everything. So the NYX one does make a good alternative to the Urban Decay if you, like me, don't really care if there's a pencil on the other end. Next up, we used up another one of the Dial body washes. Dial recently went cruelty free, which was such exciting news. They are now Leaping Bunny certified. So we've gone through a few of their body washes now. They're very affordable. I didn't repurchase this exact scent. I ended up getting, I think like the spring water scent because they had a big like pump bottle that was like double the size. So it was a little bit of a better cost per ounce, but I've liked all of the Dial body washes that we've tried so far. This was the Silk and Magnolia scent, and it, it just has a nice kind of clean, fruity, floral sort of scent. I also felt like this was a little bit more moisturizing than other body washes, if I'm not mistaken. So I would definitely recommend this if you're in the market for just a good, cheap body wash. You really can't go wrong. Next, we have one of my favorite moisturizers. This is the Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Hydrating Treatment Mask. I think this is the second tube of this that I've used up and I already repurchased a replacement that I'm currently using. This is just such a good, thick, moisturizing, rich cream. I use it morning and night. It just kind of keeps my dry skin under control. I know it's never going to irritate my skin, so if my skin is ever feeling irritated or like maybe I've just gone overboard with skincare, I'll just go back to the basics and just do cleanser, this moisturizer, and sunscreen, and that's like all I'll use, and it always just kind of resets my skin back to a happy, healthy state. So I think this is going to be a forever repurchase for me. Ever since I've been on Tretinoin, this has been... A lifesaver for me. Another thing from Paula's Choice that I don't think I would repurchase, this is their 5% Niacinamide Body Serum. They sent this to me in PR. I, it actually didn't take me long to use this up. I pretty much just used this in place of body lotion because it had the consistency of a lotion even though they describe it as a serum. It was just sort of like a thin lotion so that's how I used it. And I think it took me like maybe two months of using this like three or four times a week to go through it all the way. So it just didn't last very long using it that way. And I also just think for me with body lotions, I prefer for them to have like a nice scent to them, which obviously that's not really what Paula's Choice is all about. All their products are fragrance free. And this says it's supposed to restore an even skin tone and reduce signs of aging. I didn't really notice it doing that. Like I definitely think that my skin felt like softer when I used this, but the same goes for any body lotion that I'm using. So I think I'd probably just prefer to purchase a drugstore body lotion rather than 
however much this cost because I just didn't notice that big of a difference with it. But speaking of body lotion, here's another one. I liked this, but again, I don't think I would repurchase it. This is from Pacifica and it is their Island Vanilla Body Lotion. I really liked the scent of this. I mean, it just smells like vanilla but like maybe a little bit coconutty too. I think that's probably where it, why it's called Island Vanilla. Yeah, really nice like creamy, nutty vanilla sort of scent. The main thing I didn't love about this was I felt like it, was, it kind of took a while to work it into my skin. You know how sometimes body lotions, they'll kind of look super white and streaky like as you're blending them in and it kind of takes a while to get that to go away. That's kind of how this one was. So, you know, it wasn't bad. I enjoyed the scent especially. And also with the scent on this, it wasn't the type of scent that's going to like linger all day long. It would kind of fade away after like an hour or two. So if you prefer like a more subtle scent, you might enjoy that. But for me, I kind of like for the scent to last a little bit longer. So not a bad body lotion, but I probably wouldn't buy it again unless it was like the only option available. So let's talk about some drugstore hair care products. I have Two different Garnier products here. This one is their Whole Blends Ginger Recovery Shampoo. This was on sale at our grocery store, so that was the main reason I picked it up. But I did really like the scent of this. And I have had really good luck with a lot of the Garnier Whole Blends shampoos. This one I liked, but I didn't like it as much as the Oat Delicacy one. I think that one is just my all-time favorite. I didn't dislike it either. I just felt like it was kind of so-so. Also though, this was like the first shampoo that we started using in this new apartment. I think the water in Seattle, I think we have soft water here if I'm not mistaken, and I think the water here is softer than it was in Georgia where I used to live, where we recently moved from. So I don't know if that is also affecting my opinion on different hair products, but I do just feel like my hair has been more oily with the water here, so I don't know what that's about. Anyway, this was just okay. I did really like the scent though. This would make a good fall scent if you're like looking for a fall scented shampoo. It does have kind of like a gin like a spicy ginger sort of scent. Really nice. I wouldn't mind this scent in a candle to be honest. So for the $2.29 that we paid for it, I thought it was pretty good, but I probably wouldn't purchase this one again. This I didn't really like at all. Um, this is a conditioner that we mainly used up as shaving cream. This is the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Fortifying Conditioner. This was a very kind of like thin conditioner and I just didn't feel like it did anything for my hair. Like my hair always just felt kind of dry after using this. So yeah, not my favorite. And then we do still have the shampoo of this in our shower that we're still, I think we're like two thirds of the way done with it, but I don't like the shampoo in this line either. Here is a little mini serum from Glow Recipe. This is their Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum. It really didn't take me long to go through this mini bottle. I enjoyed this, but I just don't use serums all that often. I just feel like my skin is happier when I just use fewer products, and a lot of times if I'm doing like a serum and a moisturizer, it's just like too much. It's just too much for my skin. So I mainly used this up on my neck and then I did use it on my face as well. I really liked this serum and I wish I could use it more often. And I don't think it's the serum's fault for irritating my skin. I think it's just the number of products overall. I think that I just need to keep to a minimum. So for me, serums are just not like a daily use product. So I end up just kind of using them up on my neck. But I did really like this. It kind of smells like a really watered down cucumber melon scent from Bath and Body Works, you know, but very mild. And this had sort of like a milky gel sort of texture. It felt very hydrating and just kind of like plumping to my skin. So I did really enjoy it, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it with my own money just because I just, at least at this point in my skincare routine, I just don't feel like serums are necessary. But um, I do actually have a full size of this that they also sent to me in PR, so I'll eventually use that up too. But I don't know. I thought it was nice, but just not like a must-have. This next one is one that Nathan actually used up. This is the Bliss Mighty Biome Moisturizer Concentrate. So he used this one up, but I've also used this product before, and I loved it. He loves it. He said it's one of his favorite moisturizers that he's ever used. It is nice and thick, but doesn't feel heavy. Like I would say, it doesn't feel quite as thick as the Paula's Choice hydrating treatment mask. I do prefer the Paula's Choice just for my skin. I just feel like it's it's just so nourishing and my skin just kind of drinks it up. This is just like a step down from this 
thickness wise but it is also like completely fragrance free very gentle doesn't seem to irritate my skin at all I definitely do recommend this I do actually though if you are just looking at it strictly from a value standpoint the Paula's Choice one believe it or not is a better value it just comes with more product this one comes with four fluid ounces and this one comes with two so you just pay a little bit less per ounce for the Paula's Choice so that's kind of the comparison there if you're wondering but for me, the Paula's Choice one, just it, it, it's slightly better for, for those reasons. Also from Paula's Choice, we have their Calm Mineral Moisturizer with SPF 30. And this is the one that's for normal to oily slash combination skin. They also make a Calm SPF for dry skin, but for some reason I ended up with the normal to oily, even though I do have slightly more dry skin. But this actually worked pretty well for my skin too. It didn't set down to like a powdery matte finish or anything. It still felt hydrating. So uh, I thought that was nice. And I think I, I ranked this in like my top five, I think, in this year's Mineral Sunscreen Roundup. So it is pretty good. But I don't think I would repurchase this exact one just because I kind of prefer the Pipette one. That one was my favorite of this year's Roundup. I liked this, but I didn't love it and I especially like the longer I used it I started just liking it less and less so I don't think I would repurchase this exact one I don't think it's a bad option I would only recommend this if you have very fair skin because it does have a bit of a white cast which is true for all mineral sunscreens to an extent but I did feel like this one had a worse white cast than the pipette one that I do prefer the pipette one does have a little bit of a white cast too but just it's very, very minimal on me, so I just don't really think I would have a reason to repurchase this one, but I didn't think it was bad. Just not my favorite either. Okay, so lastly, I have a few more Blue Land empties that I wanted to share about. So I did use up another one of their hand soap tablets, which is just a little tablet that you dissolve in water and it turns into a foaming hand soap. So this one I had in the Lavender Eucalyptus scent, which I actually really enjoyed. It was definitely very lavender-y, but I liked that it had eucalyptus in it as well. That's how I usually am. Like, I don't usually like lavender just by itself but if there's something else mixed in there that I do like I usually do like it better and I do like the scent of eucalyptus so this was a nice just kind of like calming herbal sort of scent and I so far I really am liking the blue land hand soaps especially because I feel like they don't dry out my hands nearly as much as other hand soaps do so I think I will continue buying the refills I have quite a few more refill tablets ready to go because I bought a few at a time. I'm also testing out the Jello refillable hand soaps, which those are like little pods that you mix in with water rather than a tablet. I'm liking that one. I'll definitely report back once I've used that one up. I'll, I'll definitely share about that in an empties video too, but I think I like the Blue Land better just because it doesn't dry out my hands as badly. But I do feel like we go through the bottle of Blue Land soap much quicker than others. So I'm still trying to figure out if it's worth it, but the refill tablets are only like $2 a piece. So it ends up being still like pretty affordable, like per bottle, like $2 for a bottle of soap really isn't too bad. I also used up a bathroom cleaner of theirs. This is its same concept. It's just a little tablet that comes in here. You um, fill the bottle up with water, drop the tablet in, let it dissolve. And then you just, you have a bathroom cleaner. This, I didn't like the scent of this. I really don't like the scent of any of their cleaners. The all-purpose one in the yellow bottle is okay. The glass cleaner to me smells horrible. The bathroom cleaner, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell great either. And to me, like, nice scents are what motivate me to clean. So like, for example, the Mrs. Myers cleaning sprays. I have the apple cider one right now. It smells so good that I actually am motivated to clean whereas this just kind of ugh, like it just to me it smelled kind of like a cleaner that they would use in a doctor's office like very very sterile almost like there was like a rubbing alcohol sort of scent to it so I just I don't know I'm not sure if I'll repurchase this or not I probably will just because I already have the bottle so like I might as well but not my favorite not my favorite. This I definitely won't repurchase from Blue Land. This is their dishwasher tablets. This just came in like the starter set that I bought. So I figured I would go ahead and try it out. But I just didn't feel like these did a good job cleaning our dishes. They would often just leave like a kind of a powdery residue behind on some of our dishes, like inside our glasses and stuff. So I think for that reason, I think I just prefer liquid dishwasher detergents. So I don't think I would repurchase these. Also, I don't think these are that great of a value compared to store-bought dishwasher detergent so that was definitely not a favorite yeah blue land has been kind of hit or miss but my favorite so far has been the hand soaps i do think the hand soaps are good 
the cleaning products have just been kind of somewhere in the middle for me. Not terrible, but not not my favorite either. So those are all my empties from the past month. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these products. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload at least three videos a week, so I'd love to see you back soon, and hopefully I'll talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye!